Hey everybody, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Jam Sessions and Scan and Cut Canvas and Scale Help on Facebook. Um, what I want to do today is to get into some fabric videos. And I just want to tell you that I am totally self-taught, so some of the verbiage that I may use may not be um, what you all that have done this for a long time use. Um, but it is because I am totally self-taught and I do have a rather significant brain injury. So that's why I kind of have to teach myself. All right, I'm using the Embrilliance platform. Um, I have a Scan and Cut 100 and a 650, meaning I can use the PEZ. I choose, however, to actually use the FCM. I'm just a creature of habit. Um, but I think that that's good to get into um, using the native file. So let's open something. I want to use a sugar skull on the little, um, we're having a contest right now on our page. So I just clicked once on it and it brought this up. I'm going to click on that just once. I'm going to click on this. Okay. Helps if I click on the right one. There we go. So I double clicked on that and that this brings it up. I need to find 39. That is Brothers Embroidery Applique Material, and it must be this color. It cannot be any other color, okay, in order to change it into an FCM. Some of you can do it on your um, uh, embroidery machines, um, and some of you have alternate um, embroidery programs. Look in our um, uh, files on our uh, group page. Um, we've had quite a bit of input from a lot of the embroiders that are on um, our group page. Um, Marianne Solomon, Debbie Proventure are a couple that I can think of offhand. Um, Cassie, uh, she's a really good one too. But a lot of really helpful people. But there's information out there. So we're always picking up information um, from everywhere and putting it on there to help you guys. So go and check that. So we need to change this first, um, uh, what's it called, the tack down stitch I believe is what it's called, but this first item right here must be changed to this color, number 39, the Brother Embroidery Applique Material, okay? There, oh, okay. And then I am also going to change these little guys. Because I want them to be in fabric too. So let's go to 39. I always blast right past that. Okay. So now. And another thing I'm going to tell you. <laughs> this is. Okay. So I also have Stitch Artist 3. It's available. You can bring in an image and a vector and change it too. Um, I love this program. And it's cheap. You don't have to spend thousands of dollars. You don't have to do name brand this, name brand that. I absolutely love this program because I learned it literally in one day and had um, kicked out my own design. I was so excited in one day. Um, so it's really easy to use. All right, so we have all of this. But what I was saying is if you're in this right here and you try to save this, it's probably not going to work. So make sure you come up here and you <laughs> hit the arrow and you come out of it. Okay, so highlight everything and come down here and click on this again. All right, see this applique up here? Click it. Come here and click on applique position. Here is your little inflate box. I crank mine up to three because I've done an applique before. Okay, this is only my second time doing this. And I had it at two, and it's some spots it did not catch. So I'm going to put it at a three. If I have to trim around it, so be it. That's fine. I, I don't care. This is just for me. It is for my dust cover. We're having that dust cover contest and decorate your tote over on our Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help page. Really going to be fun. So I'm going to click Save All. I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to click where I want it to be saved. Okay? So... I'm going to say it's not going to let me do it, is it? Nope. Let's just back out of here. And I'm going to bring this over to Scal because now we are allowed to open FCMs in here. And I want to make sure before I schlep all the way over there. Oh, look. I don't want this. Well, you know, I guess I could. But I also don't want um, this all cut out of the same material. So I want to break it up. Well, let's see if I can do this. Nope. Still all the same thing. So. I'm going to come up here to Object, and I'm going to click Break Apart, okay? Oh, they're all separate. 
So I want to keep these two together and group because you do not want to move them. Well, I guess you could, but you don't want to. Okay, so now we know that those are overlapping. I don't want overlaps. I want them to be cut out so I don't have to worry about anything, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to duplicate them. And this is just the way I do it, okay? Don't feel like you have to, but it's just the way that I do it. All right, so let me make sure those, okay, those are grouped. And I need to group this because this is separate too. Object, group. Because remember, if you don't group them, you cannot use the items that are in the path. Does that look about right? Yeah, it looks pretty, pretty good to me. You know what? There we go. Because what I need to do is just drag it straight across. That looks darn good to me. Okay. So now I'm going to come up here and I'm going to highlight everything. We're going to come up here to path. And we're going to click either front minus back or back minus front. Perfect. Okay. And these are grouped. So slide them over. Good. They fit perfectly. But I'm going to keep them separate. And look, these aren't grouped. So I need to come back there and regroup them, even though they were grouped before I did the back minus front thingy. But they ungrouped when I did that. So just regroup them and put them up there. And now they are ready to be resent to the stick. Okay? You need to resend this because right now the one that saved is that funky model that's all stuck together. And I'll tell you, I did send this, check this out on my machine first. And it was all stuck together. You could not break it apart at the machine. Okay. So this is where sure cuts a lot. Or you can do this in Canvas <clears throat> where it comes in handy in sure cuts a lot to be able to now use FCMs. Or you could save it as a, a SVG and bring it in too. But it's just nice to have to be able to use it. Okay. I'm going to save it as a correct doll. Yes. All right, so now we're all finished with this, and I'm going to bring out the camera. We're going to do the camera work, and what that's going to show you is, one, how to cut this out. Two, how I go about doing things without using those blue or green sheets, um, because I think that that kind of gets expensive. And you know me, I don't have a lot of money, um, so I, I try to get away with doing things maybe on the cheaper side. And cheap does not mean less, worse, or cheap, even cheap looking. It's things that are going to get you the same exact results, sometimes even better, at a much lower cost. Okay, guys? See you over at the camera.